In today's Mining Minute, I'm going to show you how to mine Caspa with your Jazz Miner and send to your Zell Core wallet. You are going to log into your internet service provider modem, router, and go to the device list. You're going to type in Jazz Miner. That should bring up the IP address to your Jazz Miner. Type in your Jazz Miner IP address into your browser. Press enter. It's going to bring up a sign in. Your username is root, R O O T, lowercase, and the password is the same thing root, lowercase, and then press sign in. Once you log in, you are at the overview page. On the left hand side, go down to settings and select miner. After selecting miner under settings, we want to complete the pool one section. We want to put in the pool URL in the URL box with the port number. In the worker box, we want to put in your wallet address and your worker name. And in the password, we want to simply put in a lowercase x. Scroll down. Under advanced, we want to select coin select, ETC, and frequency 225. To get your pool URL, we're going to come to unminable.com. In the search box, we are going to type in Caspa. We're going to select Caspa. We're going to make sure in the algorithm field that ETC hash is selected since we are mining with a jazz miner and we can only mine with ETC hash algorithm at the moment. Scroll down. And this is going to be your pool URL. And as far as ports, we're going to use the 3333. Now I'll show you what it looks like in your Jazz Miner field. Back in our Jazz Miner pool URL, this is how you will put in your pool URL and the port number. The pool URL, colon, 3333. Next, we need to complete the worker field. We're going to go back to Unminable to show us how to fill in this information. On Unminable, if you scroll down a little bit, you will see this is how you are going to set up your worker information. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Next, we need to get your Caspa wallet address that we will be mining to. We're going to be using our Zellcore wallet. Log into your Zellcore wallet. If you do not see Caspa, add it. Show zero sum. Come down, select Caspa. Select receive. Under the category, select mining, continue, and it will give you a Caspa mining wallet address to receive your Caspa to. Select copy, and then we will go back to our Jazz Miner worker and put that information in. This is what it looks like with all of your information put in. The structure is KAS colon, or unminable to know what to pay you out in, Starting after the colon is going to be your Zellcore wallet address. You put a period after your wallet address, and then you put a name for your worker. I put OC Miner 1. In password, I put a lowercase x. Scroll down under advanced. Make sure to select ETC. Frequency 225 or 200. I use 225. And then select update. After selecting update on the left hand side, we will select status. And here we are going to have a summary of what's going on with our miner, how long it's been up, our network, our hash rate, rejected rate. Under pools, it's going to have our URL, our user information, and under status, which is the most important, we want to make sure this says using. If this doesn't, we need to go back and make sure that our information is correct. We can scroll down and we can see what are two boards because the Jazz Miner I'm using is the X4Q. It has two boards. We can see what it's doing as well as our fan speed. Just remember, it's going to take 30 minutes to an hour for this to completely update. Finally, to see how much Caspa you have earned, come back to the Unminable website. In the top left, next to start, select address. Here, you are going to paste in your Zelle Core wallet address for Caspa. After you paste it in, hit search, and it is going to bring up your miner. 
This is why it's important if you have more than one miner to name them differently so you know what they're doing and how to watch them. Here you can see that I have already made this much CASPA. You will receive a payout once it, once it reaches 50 CASPA. I have the auto pay set as well. One last thing that you can do is under the referrals, you can come in and select this and put it in after your worker name so that you get a reduction in minor fees. The referral code is not required, but I do recommend it. It will reduce your mining fee. The way you set this up is you select your referral code and now we'll show you how to insert it into your miner back in our Jazz Miner Worker field. Back in our miner settings under the pool one next to worker, this is what that entire line should look like. At the end is gonna be your referral code. You'll put in a hashtag and then your referral code. You'll scroll down. Again, this is going to re-spin up the Jazz Miner, and we are looking between 30 minutes to an hour for it to catch up starting from right now. And simply select Update. To make sure that your referral code is working properly, go back to Unminable, select Address, paste in your CASPA address, select the search bar, and now you will notice that your mining fee is 0.75% instead of the 1%. You can scroll down, you will see your worker name, and you will see your referral code. And there we are, we are completely set up mining CASPA with our Jazz Miner on Unminable with a referral code.